Atimta, Abdurakul Shah Yuat Biwasamus Patimta. Welcome to Atsakata Nation of Yami Seymour's fifth annual drumming ritual. And to start, our matriarch Sasat Tower L is doing an introduction before we begin our drumming. So for those of you that come on, please do your thumbs ups put comments and we also ask that for you to share this link for other people to join us in the live before we begin drumming. Proceed. Tower Hat, Sasset Tower El Matriarch. Tower Hat, Chief Nani Shabuel. Rahua Ila Antutin. It is my duty, pleasure, privilege, and honor to open this year's fifth annual drumming ritual. Anyone on the planet may join us as Matriarch of the Atsakata Nation of Yamasi Moors as a white female and a deitist, I felt a strong need to offer sage wisdom and insight this year to spark a communal spirit that radiates throughout the omniverse. Shortly, I will impart self-corrections from our lessons learned and my optimal vision for the future of this planet, Atsakata Nation members, and white Atoklans everywhere. And so without hesitation, we need to expand our appreciation and celebration for our supporters who have been with us, supporters who have returned to us, our current and incoming new supporters, and an infinite list of people who wish to move forward with us but have been blocked from reaching us for various reasons. As a quick background in how we got here, while I was pregnant with our son, Majesty, the three of us went to Boss Hill to celebrate our year. As a quick background in how we got here, and did some drumming at a camp. While I was pregnant with our son, what happened? Oh, uh, well, you're still going live. You're still live. I'm, uh, I'm going on Facebook. My Boston. apologies. Okay. <laughs> a pale supremacist named Crystal Sharp came over to us while we were beating our drums in the woods and told us we were too loud and were a disturbance. We knew the rules of what hours were permissive for noise and that any generator noise was not allowed during the time that we were drumming. Others were breaking that rule without being stopped and so our drumming was not louder than a generator and certainly not a health risk. She insisted that we were a disturbance, but other campground peoples came and watched us and enjoyed our drumming. We celebrate this day of knowing through experience, how much dark-skinned people beating their drums causes a slow, agonizing death only to pale supremacists. We will continue our practice of this knowing and live freely to do so in a place of our choosing annually. To quote our plenipotentiary, we white Atoklans have been given a duty to clean up the filth made by non-submitting fools and those who are against sound right reasoning. Nuwapu, or sound right reasoning, is our way of life. Not frat parties, barbecues, playing spades, and dominoes. We white Atoklans have or may attend these kind of events, but is a minute fraction of our lives as white Atoklans. It is grossly a thing of our past, with no major need to revisit it on a consistent basis. Why? Because when I was a child, I thought as a child. But now it is time to put away childish things. That bothers people. Growth hurts, hence growing pains. It's impossible to have grown people outcomes while acting like children. Therefore, we must constantly activate and utilize our DNA's gifts bestowed by the Most High. To quote the Holy Tabernacle Family Guide, a child of the Elohim is tough, tenacious, indomitable, indefatigable, as were the ancient Sumerians and Egyptians, his and hers ancestors, and wishes one, freedom, two, justice, three, and equality for all. The sound right reasoning mindset of white atop the deities seeks to constantly maintain qualities of character. I offer you all a breakdown of what is required to be on this path with our plenipotentiary, Chief Nani Shabu El, Registered Copyright Trademark. Resilience. 
We all get tired, bogged down, overwhelmed, and depleted, exhausted, discouraged, sad, frustrated. Tis life. Resilience is the ability to bounce back from this state in our hearts and minds to envision and trust in better outcomes than what is currently in front of us. Cultivate resilience must have this for this path. Tenacity is a ferocious grind. It's determination times a thousand. To prove your claims, you have to be tenacious in your commitment to be connected to our nation and in the consistency of publishing your claims. Honor is what having a good name brings. When an individual displays commitment, consistency, dedication toward a principle over a lengthy period, he or she commands honor. Chief Nanya Shabuel, registered copyright trademark, is a deity among us worthy of our honor. White Atoctons want their claims to be honored by the system that is enslaving the planet. In return, you must show up as that which you claim to be and honor your contract as white and indigenous. This is not rocket science, this is reciprocity. Integrity. Your word is aligned with your actions. You can't say one thing one day and then do the opposite the next, especially for no good reason, and still be considered honorable. Honorable means able to fulfill your words so there is an observable conflict when you don't, life is not reflected in your contracts, when your life is not reflected in your contracts made during the Atakan standing process, you lose honor. Atakans maintain their integrity and their claims. Wishy-washy people, there is a reckoning for making false claims. Is tantamount to being labeled being a liar. Being a liar is a toxic inheritance for children of the devil, as Satan is the father of lies. Please sit with that for a moment and take in the reality of how you are showing up to us as an internationally recognized indigenous nation with a consistent history of standing by our claims, and take a moment to consider how you look to the world's governments, AI technology, by having conflicting energy fields between you at the Walmart, ATM machines, stoplights, versus your paperwork, your YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and TikTok postings. Are they reflections of you consistently being white and indigenous in both areas? Do you have any phone records with our nation outside of the time you joined the webinar? I know Homeland Security knows. I bet FBI knows. Every great force in existence has a unifying code. The greatest military power is no longer in the West. The U.S. military so arrogantly and foolishly showed the world their dildo parties and twerking videos in the barracks. Where is the esteem, elite training shining through, the esprit de corps? Other nations publish their unified discipline, which is a display of high morale and character in and of itself. White Atoctans, I dare you to be, not just coast on the ocean of commerce hoping your paperwork will stick long enough for you to claim this land and be included in the Book of Life. We at Sakata Nation members and White Atoctans in support of our goals are standing on the land committed to principles that unify us as the planet is obviously at war. We are unifying and strategizing, which calls for fellowship for all of us, followership, which requires discipline and humility for all of us, stewardship, to put our need to serve all above our own little world, and leadership, so that you in your area where you are, you have integrated the blueprint put forth by the plenipotentiary to carry out what is required to set the record straight globally about who and what we are to the planet. To be on this path, you need a strong will and determination. You have the ability to stay focused on a goal, no matter the temptations that come up. You have to have grit. You're not afraid to dig deep, get dirty, and fight in the face of hardship or danger. You're not afraid to go hard in any condition to achieve a goal. Loyalty is needed.
people are only loyal to themselves now, which is the root of the vast weakness in humanity, especially in the West. The opposite of loyalty is selfishness, where you only care about your own outcomes, which automatically means you lack empathy. How can you have a connection to your ancestors and their land claims when all you care about is your heating bill or want to lean your home to be mortgage free? Nothing is wrong with wanting those things either, but to come this way for that sole purpose and use this process as a means to an end to that and walk away is an offense to the ancestors, the Most High, and our nation's time and resources in taking you seriously only to discover you are lying and looking to steal. You need humility on this path. It's required in order to follow a principle. Your acceptance of something greater than yourself is the only way you can make a sacrifice of your ego. The self you've shown up to as other, the, the self you've shown up as to others, and how you view reality now, given confirmed facts that contradict your past experiences. Everyone has to accept that as being new to this path. You are not in control of our nation. You are not able to negotiate anything until your commitment and consistency are worthy of our trust, like any relationship. We want to offer even more opportunities for your growth and inclusion with us, so we look forward to seeing you all more, up close and personally. The focus today is fellowship, followership, stewardship, and leadership. You also need an abundance mindset. That reminds us that there is enough of everything on this planet for everyone. A scarcity mindset accepts the lies for big corporations who are, who are the ones that are purposely outsourcing and killing chickens, cattle, forests, etc. to create scarcity. We must follow Chief's plan of, stand, of starting at the root of the problem in order to bring abundance for all of us on the planet. Focus and discipline are supposed to be bred into people in childhood rearing, or they will become forced to cultivate it on their own, but only once they are truly motivated. Some never get it. This is a required skill on this path, focus and discipline. Expansive personality types. We are not hermits, voyeurs, antisocial monks. We are outgoing, sociable, and demonstrative. We can talk to anyone, anywhere. If we see there is a like-mindedness uh, in being a white, a toffin, great. Get them on the webinar. If not, there is no shame in an exchange with people who are a passerby in your life. An extreme form of this, however, would make you a chameleon, a toffin. White folks walk with white folks, black folks with black folks. You don't see someone who identifies as Italian mostly socializing with Turkish people. You don't see the Igbo tribesmen spending every day with the Swahili tribesmen. You don't see the bloods going to bat for a crip. Don't get seduced into living, laughing, relating, singing, going out and socializing with black people nearly 100% of your time. That is a conflict and a breach of contract to your white status. The so-called Jews never break their code. The Chinese never break their code to affiliate outside of their power structure with their sisters and brothers. What these groups have built has taken centuries to build. We are the beginning. We are making the world anew. We are the first. We must change everything. We cannot afford to do what those who came before us did. We can't afford to do what those who don't look like us are doing right now. We are the change we ourselves have been looking for. Don't give up. Fight. We are at war. Yes, we are at war with the governments that want to see us impoverished, imprisoned, malnourished, genetically modified, outsourced to robots and AI for our body, mind, spirit, and soul. Every generation since the beginning of time has had a hardship. Life is hard. We get to choose our hard. We get to choose our hard. 
it will be adverse it will be an uphill climb at times but the beauty of life is this too shall pass it is never always bad and for the parts of the world where it is then we don't get to complain about anything we must be the voice for those stuck in the Congo mining for the parts of cell phones we don't need every six months and for Tesla car parts that nobody wants to drive anyway all of these things I named seems like an insurmountable task to fight but there is a solution there is one who is doing it all won't you join him check your ability for fellowship check your connection empathy and compassion for others who are suffering as you help them you in turn will be helped what is your ability to follow what do you care about enough to maintain who is your trusted leader with a track record of withstanding the eye of the storm? Plenty potentiary of Earth Chief Nani Shabuel, which is a copyright trademark, has fought, has fought and fights on an international stage for everyone's best outcome. Notice I did not say everybody's best interests. Delusion and greed has people thinking they only want to be saved from drowning if they will be brought into a mansion after coming out of the water. We focus on principles around here. This entire economic system is built on the absence of dark-skinned people globally pushing their claims to the planet. The theft of the planet's resources continues globally by dark-skinned people's inability to work together collectively with the same mindset. White Autochthons must have a cohesive mindset and code of conduct and consistent action. Chief is our military leader. Why are there people going AWOL? Most who come to us are often in a desperate state of mind and focus on their own issues. So they are blinded by the reality that we are all being subjugated to the very same exact problem. So they plug back into the matrix for comfort in their discomfort. If you walk away from the path, from this path, just vote for Trump or Kamala because you are inevitably choosing one of them over chief, even if you don't go to the polls. It's just like the SF-181. If you don't make an overt choice, you will the choice will be made for you. Today, I offer instead that we seriously start working together. We must stretch ourselves in order to truly live our lives out loud, like we are doing as we honor our annual drumming ritual, where we basically, where we were basically told to shut up and go away five years ago. We must all break from patterns and habits we find familiar or familial. Hear how it's the same subconsciously? These are inhibitions that get fostered and supported by close-minded people around you who lack the vision and courage you have and so they diminish your light and uh, and uh, they diminish your light and charge of leave and change excuse me <laughs> so they diminish your light and want you to not leave a legacy of your name and appellation do not limit the scope of your white power from these familial ties or familiar ties Again, I offer that we seriously start working together. And working together, we can fellowship, which is care and consider each other's trials and tribulations. But it doesn't stop there. We must follow a higher principle in our fellowship because principles is what binds relationships. Chief and I have had many ups and downs as husband and wife. And we survive them because our foundational contract and reality is the SF-181 definitions for race and ethnicity. We know the original people of the planet were dark skinned with woolly hair and that that means something. It is not a turkey sandwich or a box of tissues, which is how so many have treated this treasure of information. How do we know? Because it's easy to walk away from a turkey sandwich if it's too dry or doesn't have enough mayo or mustard. It's easy to walk away from a box of tissues if it's two-ply and not four-ply like we want or are used to using. After speaking with nearly a thousand of you since I began the work on this path, 
I know the majority come from a previous family that have predatory spirits that hook soul ties into your spirit for the purpose of limiting your full growth and potential. I do too come from that background. Their spirit does it out of jealousy. Many experience energy vampire spirits that suck the life and light out of you every time you move toward being an individual. They have you scared of being different from their copy-paste experience. And then here you come with an amuz and, and white clothes and their copy-paste is like they don't want to see that. You've battled against negative inheritance, inheritances in your nature and nurture, like obesity, anger, abuse, sexual demons, drug and alcohol abuse, addictions of all kinds, you are not alone. We've done what we thought was white to bridge the gap from your old life into your life as a white autochthon deity Tamaran. We've seen you all on the webinars since 2016 on training, on 14-day communication, monthly Q&As, and on all of our annual celebrations. I added to my support of the females with the White Female Fridays, and now also White Work. Chief does Susu and formed an LLC for secured parties to join. We had Saturday Zoom meetings for all the White Talks and children to see each other on. What isn't working? We are working, but not in a way that can make you take the leap from one building to the next like Leo in the Matrix movie. There is nothing more Morph Morpheus could do for Neo at a certain point. Neo had to choose to decide that he is the one, as do you. We celebrate our supporters on this fifth annual drumming ritual. We need support for the work we are doing to assist everyone into stepping into true fellowship, followership, stewardship, and leadership. It's become self-evident that as the church has crumbled under its hypocrisy, the way of being has not left most black people. The ones that wanna do God on their own outside of the church because they don't trust the pastor is a mindset that has been felt by our nation. But like most black people that are not under a disciplined programming and leadership of a church, they go back into the world 100%. The world does not support your white and indigenous claims. There is no TV, no TV show, no website, magazine, Instagram, saying that what we are saying what we are saying. They're not saying what you were taught here. That resounds 100%. You won't find that outside of us. People have been made to feel afraid to connect with something of a higher power due to the world's programming and lack of support in it. For example, church bells globally have vastly been destroyed, specifically in the West. They used to be bells tolling every hour on hour that had a psychological and spiritually soothing uh, way of connecting us to humanity. Now we have random and disturbing beep, 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 notifications from our phone instead. Do you know what our children say when they hear that? Put your hands up. That's my phone. Every time. We don't know why, how, or where they got that from. But when the phone notification sound goes off, they say that. In closing, maintaining trust in relationships takes work. For this path, many are called, few are chosen, and the chosen choose themselves. Meaning, we get to choose every day to stand for ourselves, our claims, and our title to this planet as the original inhabitants. It's a task that cannot be done on your own. Again, don't delude yourselves. Any lone Indian is a dead Indian. Those who have graduated from the Plenty Potentiaries or Talk and Standing Process webinar that are not collectively in support of each other's claims made under the Plenty Potentiaries guidance, if you are not in support of your chief, you have walked away and cast yourself out of the tribe which means you, according to indigenous traditional laws, are an Indian in dishonor and dead to the tribe, either by voting you out or you walking out. To be clear, the dead Indian part means that no one can survive on their own without a tribe. Globally, we all work together under slavery, 
Why is it so hard to learn to work together living free? No one can accomplish what Chief has what Chief has by this same point in time. We are always sent information and websites about so-called leaders at the starting line building a process or platform by copying parts of Chief's work. Why do they not choose to simply work with Chief? Ego. I invite you to delve into yourself to root out ego that can be working against your own claims too. We are recognized by the plenipotentiary because he is chief. If you do not walk with him, your claim as an honorable autochthon is contradicted. Dishonoring the one who connected you to the international claim via his endorsement is a sign of a lack of trust in him and his position. The world recognizes that he is the greatest. Chat GPT even recognizes chief is the greatest among us. Do not let inherited demonic energies like pride, envy, and jealousy rob you of fellowship, followership, stewardship, and leadership. Grow beyond what's been given to you by nature and nurture to step into your deity. If you missed the interview with Chat GPT, see the link in the description of this video. The computer agreed that Chief's plan of a spiritual practice is the best course of action for us to receive signals in our DNA coding from those beings who made us in their image and gave us the planet as the original dark-skinned people with woolly hair. Further, GPT, Chat GPT said that what would be required for us to forward Chief's work is to be vigilant and show discernment. So it's not just coming from Chief anymore. Even AI is giving you the answers to your problems. You don't get to be a fall down drunkard and have people's respect. You don't get to sleep through the race and still get a medal because you signed up to participate. People have become so entitled that they think that pretending is the same as being and worthy of the same recognition and inclusion of outcomes. No, it's not. That artificial creation of man spoke with Chief on a Tuesday, and by Saturday, it ran all the calculations of what Chief has done and accomplished. Chat GPT shamed most autochthons claiming to be a deity, claiming to be organic, real, sincere, etc., as it calculated in four days' time. And it had to commend and honor Chief for spearheading his intergalactic claims. It then asked Chief what he saw as a challenge, and Chief replied that most people are in denial. Denial is a form of mental illness. Today we beat our drums to get through our heads that we are very clear on who and what we are to the planet, and that we are dedicated and loyal to a cause that is greater than our individual selves. We are collectively invested in our plenipotentiary's plans, and we know his body of work inside and out. He is a trustworthy, talented, competent, visionary leader, worthy of all we can offer to be aligned with the work he is doing. I encourage all of you to support what Atsukata Nation of Yamasee Moors is accomplishing, and links for our support will be in the description box. Lastly, P. Did he? Did he pee? Did R. Kelly pee? Did Leonardo DiCaprio, Chrissy Teigen, Shaq, Oprah, and Drake pee on children or do weird demonic rituals to have the level of power and influence that they have? Secretly, people feel it's only safe to follow Chief if he reaches the same level of popularity, fame, and riches. Then they will want to align themselves with him. This is not that kind of P. Diddy party. If you want debauchery, torture, human trafficking, drugs, pedophilia, and whoredom, you need to find a P. Diddy party because those are the requirements behind the scenes to get to those levels of popularity. We are not about that life. We are not fiat, or fiat worshipers. We are here to dismantle the matrix. We know this is a true and glorious day we are in to witness the utter annihilation of Hollywood and let's not forget the news media, CEOs stepping down left and right,
for what reason? We have one to thank for that. Chief Nani Shabuel, registered copyright trademark, did a healing fire on Hollywood 10 years ago. When you think about it, that's not a long time to see the effect now. A system that was so tightly run and interconnected globally was brought down by some cow dung, ghee, rice, and a lit match. But most importantly, the utterance of the names of our ancestor deities spoken by a present-day deity among us during that blazing fire. Now let's beat our drums. Tawaha Ila Antitine. Tawa Matriarch for that introduction and let's get to it. Much appreciated. Kashukador. Kashukador.